The lies are catching up, man. These people are desperate. They're pulling the desperate moves. To say that SPM is going to perform live from the Devil's Mansion? Come on, man. The Devil's Mansion, guys? Come on. Come on, bro. Y'all really believe that man's going to go live from jail? Come on, guys. All these years, every time that you guys hear him, most of the time, 95% of the time, that you guys hear him speak at these parties and stuff, it's all pre-recorded. It's all pre-recorded. Stop living a lie, man. Stop lying to yourselves. It's all pre-recorded. And y'all are like, oh, he's calling. Oh, my God. Let's listen. It's not true, man. Stop lying to yourselves. And stop letting them lie to you guys and mislead you. Over and over and over. And y'all still protect this guy. Y'all still protecting this guy. After everything you know now, y'all are still protecting this guy. It's crazy, man. I feel sorry for y'all. I feel sorry for y'all. And then you got the innocent ones that they haven't healed from any of this stuff. And they're still going through it. And y'all are sitting here hyping this shit up. I swear. You're hyping this shit up. Stop with the lies, though. Stop misleading these people. You guys got to stop this. It's insane. When will it stop? When will the misleading stop? And another thing. Not just that. You guys are saying y'all are moving into the Ava Center. Because... It's so big and they sold so many tickets. But that's a lie. They had only sold 35 tickets. The real reason why they're moving is because they got a fucking uh, a, a violation for um, getting a liquor license and not uh, uh, posting the capacity. They thought I called the city on them. And I didn't. You know, that's just... <laughs> You know, the city's cracking down. You know what I mean? The city's cracking down on people. They've been cracking down for a couple of years now. If you know the entertainment business in Houston, uh, festivals and all this kind of stuff, you know that they crack down on codes and the health department and all that kind of stuff. But to sit here and mislead the people again and act like it's a big, uh, like it's a big thing. You know, like, oh, all these people are coming we're selling out everything. We have to move it to a bigger place. No. Be real with the people. The, 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 the least you can do is be real with the people. Tell them that you fucking uh, have a couple code violations in the building. You know, you guys are out there doing construction. Old Dallas' dad doing construction. And he never pulled permits. At least be honest. And then what is this whole uh, uh, Hope House thing? Now people are becoming pastors and stuff? Come on, man. You can't mislead the people on one end and then go and then say you're with God on the other end. Where do you draw a line? You know, so now the evil money's going to fund some, some good causes and stuff? <laughs> Come on, man. Stop with the nonsense already. If you're going to be real with the people, speak to the people, be real to the people. That's the first step. Be real with the people. Just come out and say it. You wronged a bunch of people. Moving forward. Let's move forward. If you're going to move forward, if you're going to be real, if you're going to, you know, really have some remorse for the stuff that you did, you know, if you really apologize to the people that you hurt, if you really apologize to the artist that you really didn't pay, because there's new uh, there's new laws that protect the artists now for streaming. It just started in January. Renegotiate these contracts. Let's get these guys paid so we can really celebrate the Day of Unity. Stop misleading these women that you're all about women and the kids and stuff. Come on, man. When do the lies stop? I swear. Y'all keep following this stuff if you want to, man. 
I'm good. I'm just going to stand where I am. I'm glad I came forward first. And I'm done with it. That dark cloud is, is past me. No matter what anybody says, now you can say all the shit you want in the comments about me. I'm past it. It's no longer going to hurt me, any, any of it. I, I'm going through my healing process. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good being me, Mo Hustle. I'm going to still do my businesses. I'm going to still do shows. I'm going to still do graphic work. I'm going to still, you know, create beats. I'm going to still produce great music. I'm okay being me. Y'all need to be okay being you. You know, if you know some foul play was done, if you know the truth now, disconnect yourselves now. Because these people want answers. The fans want answers. And they're going to hold all of you artists and workers and employees and whatever the hell you are, they're going to hold each one of you accountable. If not now, later. But if you don't stand up together, they're going to eat you alive by yourself. Just stand down already. Let it go. Y'all still holding on to, to bullshit. Be who you are. Create your own labels. Create your own product. Create your own records. Do your own shit. You have your own two feet to stand on and be that. Stop acting like you got to ride with all this stuff. I know it's the history, but it's a sad fucking history. Everyone was misled. God, when will we move forward? When will y'all start your healing process? Never if you keep holding on to that. I'm trying to tell you guys, man. You guys don't listen. And it's okay. The fans will hold you accountable. The people will hold you accountable because they want to know the truth. And until then, they're going to keep fighting each other. They're going to keep being misled. And you're going to keep misleading that's very important. I'm telling y'all, man. And for the fans, stop it right now, man. Just understand what the truth is and move forward with your life. You've been deceived by your favorite rapper and rappers, whatever. If they're not coming out right now telling you the truth, they're still misleading. Okay? They're still misleading. I'm telling y'all, man, it's a sad truth, and I hate that people got to go through it, but it is what it is. It is what it is, man. And oh, yeah, one more response to SPM after he said that everybody was broke, get a job. This is the thing, bro. Tell the truth that you're broke. Tell the people how broke you are, that you have to go loan some money from your baby mother's boyfriend. Your baby mother's boyfriend. Come on, bro. You have no dignity, bro. You over here fucking borrowing from your baby mother's boyfriend? Come on, man. And then calling other people broke? But if it wasn't for your baby mother's boyfriend to save your company, you wouldn't have one. Okay? So let's be real when you talk about people. It's okay for people to be broke. I don't think none of them are broke. You know? That was just one of your narcissist moves. You try to make everybody seem like they're the wrong people by misleading your fans. You have a, a, a bigger uh, audience that follows you. But to sick them on innocent people? Come on, bro. It's okay to be broke. Even if you're broke, it's okay. But be honest with the people. You're not a millionaire. I see somebody say SPM is worth $8 million. Where? That man is not worth no $8 million. You know? He's loaning from his baby mother's boyfriend. Fuck. Anyway, man. Let's continue to watch this silly, sick show. Because it's all going to be the sickest thing to go down in Mexican rap history.